welcome students i am amit gupta assistant professor in bi college of pharmacy i will explain experimental animal used in pharmacology the various type of experimental animals are used in pharmacology labs such as rat mice frog guinea pig and rabbits and these are experimental animal are used for the preclinical studies the during the during the discovery of the drugs uh there are two trials first is the clinical trials and second is the preclinical trials the preclinical trial is the first and clinical trial is the second preclinical trials are the trials in which the study of drug in the animals so the need of experimental animals in the pharmacology lab for the study of preclinical studies and uh, and uh, preparations of how to and the prepare and the practicing of how to study on these animals to so we are start the experimental animals used in the pharmacology lab they are the following experimental animals mostly used in the pharmacology labs first is the albino rats second is the albino mice third is the guinea pig fourth is rabbit and fifth is frog now we are discussing about the one by one every each animals first is discussing about the albino rat albino rats it is also known as in scientific and uh, scientific name is also known as rattus norvigilus it is a white rat where vester strains is commonly used laboratory animals in the experimental pharmacology rat are easy to breed and maintains and rat wing is small in size about 200 mg is the weight and resemble men in several organs functions and nutritions and are sensitive to the most of the drugs and make them very useful for the experiment animals but rat do not have a vomiting centers as in any as a humans uh, hence it is not possible to use the study of emetics so uh, the rat had do not have a vomiting center so do, do not study about the drugs that induce the vomiting and anti vomiting drugs also not study on the rats because because the rat had not do not have a vomiting centers and there are the experimental use we have the experimental use of the rat as novel genus albino rats uh, psychopharmacology agents studies studies a study of analgesic and anticonvulsion drugs various type of analgesic drugs nasits uh, nasits uh, no nasits nasits non steroidal anti inflammatory agents narcotics agents yani ki morphine like derivative compounds and anticonvulsants like phenobarbitons dari pumps they are also used in the rat albino rat rattus norvigilus and all uh, rattus rattus norvigilus also used for the bioassay of various hormones such as insulin oxytocin vasopressin and study of ester cycles and mating behavior and lactations and uh, it is also used for the isolated of various tissue preparations like uh, guinea pigs stomach and gastric excretions study about the gastric excretions like a parvulus ligation studies for the anti 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 uh, sorry uh, anti acids like uh, drugs the, the the drugs that reduce the secretion of acids are are studies in the in this animals by using a gastric acid excretions uh, by using the uh, by using gastric excretions uh, observations and hepatotoxicity studies also done in the rattus norvigilus and a study on mast cells also occurs in the rattus rattus norvigilus now we come to the next animal is the albino mouse albino mouse is a scientific name is mus musculus white mice uh, swiss strains is are the smallest laboratory animals used in the experimental pharmacology as compared to the albino rats the albino mouse is very small it is very weight about the mice are also easy to breed and maintains and they are small in the size about 20 to 25 to 30 grams and therefore easy to handle as compared to the albino rat yani rattus norvigilus they are sensitive to most of the drugs used in the experimental pharmacology there are the many type of drug are used and studies in the albino mouse yani ki mus musculus we are discussing about the experimental use of the animal mouse albino mouse ya mus musculus first is the toxicological studies based type of toxicology studies also done on albino mouse 
second is the tetrogenicity studies. Tetrogenicity studies are those studies uh, during the pregnancy, the effect of drug on the fetus, these are observed in this study, in, the, in those studies called as tetrogenic studies. The, those are, the drug are affected the development of the fetus, this type of effect is called tetrogenicities and the tetrogenic studies are also done in the adenomouse yamus musculus. Bioassay of insulin, secretion of analges, uh, sorry, screening of analgesic and anti drugs are also done on the albino mouse and screening of chemotherapeutic agents also done on the, also occurs on the albino mouse and muscus plus. Study of related to the genetic and cancer research also occurs on albino mouse or muscus plus. And the drug action on CNS also observed on the muscus plus and albino mouse. These are the albino mouse. Uh, you can see the albino mouse uh, having a size is very small, 32, 25 to 30 grams. And uh, we are see the ratus norvigilus, uh, albino rats. The size is very big and weight around the 200 grams. 200 grams is the weight, and albino mouse is the weight. Uh, weight is 25 to 30 grams. Uh, be comparing between the rat and uh, rat, rat, ratus, don, rat, uh, ratus, rat and uh, mouse, ratus norvigilus and uh, ratus mus musculus. Uh, these are the, no, the between the tails, tail is larger and big in the ratus norvigilus as compared to the mus musculus. As, and also we study the um, the small eyes uh, in the rat uh, in the rhesus mullus as compared to the rhesus norvigilus and uh, eye size nose size ear size is very small in the mus musculus as compared to the rhesus norvigilus now we come to, uh, come to the guinea pigs guinea pigs is a scientific name is cavia parsulus Gavia guinea pigs is weighed about the 400 to 600 and grams and they are commonly used in experimental animals. They are very docile. Docile means it is very, it is not aggressive. It is very docile, it's simple, it is simple, it is simple, and easy to maintain, it is easy to handle. They are highly sensitive to the histamines and require oxygenous, exogenous vitamin C in the diets. It is highly sensitive to histamines and uh, we have to give it vitamin C diet. We have to experimental use ki discuss about the right, uh, talk about the experimental use of uh, guinea pigs. First is the evaluation of vancodilators because the, it is highly sensitive to the histamines. So we study the all the vancodilators in the guinea pigs ya cavia parsulus. Anaphylactic and uh, immunological studies also occurs in the guinea pigs. A study of histamine and antihistamines agents also occurs in the guinea pigs because it is easily highly sensitive to the histamines. Biosay of digitalis, evolution of local anesthetics also uh, done also occur on guinea pigs. Hearing experiments because sensitivity of cochlea, highly sensitive cochlea of the guinea pigs. So we uh, study about the hearing experiments on the guinea pigs. Isolate tissue preparations, EMs and heart also. Uh, isolated from the guinea pigs for the various type of studies and a study on tuberculosis TB and ascorbic acid metabolism also done on the guinea pigs because the tuberculosis uh, the it is highly sensitive to the histamines so we study the tuberculosis of drugs and ascorbic acid because it needs a very large amount of diet in the vitamin C so we study about the ascorbic acid metabolism this is the shape of guinea pigs and uh, guinea pigs have a no tails which uh, is my piece tail nahi hoti hai uh, my, uh, size is like the red size to be 200 to 300 grams se beech mein hota hai uh, very size very scuff out the, the leg of the guinea pig is very small and uh, we discussing about the uh, eye of the rat and rat rat and uh, mouse is rat but uh, guinea pigs eyes white and black okay now we're discussing about the rabbits uh, lepus caniculus docile animals is a very simple animal see the animals eh? it is not aggressive new zealand white strain is widely used in the experimental pharmacology it is hug 
cecum and long appendix so we study about the anticonstipation drugs on the rabbits and gem atropine esterase is uh, atropine esterase is present in the rabbit liver and plasma so it uh, tolerated to the large dose of well belladonna or atropines so we not we are uh, we are not study the atropine or belladonna drugs on the rabbits because rabbit having a large uh, quantity of enzyme atropine esterase that affect the that affect the metabolism of the atropine in the rabbit as compared to the human experimental uses of we discussing about the experimental uses of rabbits uh, passes the parogen test you parogen tests are the parogen test uh, means the parogen test means uh, the barbing uh, uh, the temperature rising experiments parogen test bioassay of anti diabetic or queer false drugs sex hormone the screening of agents that affect the capillary permeabilities also done on the also occur on the rabbits drug use in glaucoma glaucoma drugs glaucoma of drugs are also used in also study on rabbits pharmacokinetic studies also occur on the rabbits a study related to the anti anti fertility drugs agents also occur on the lipus caniculus acid preparation like a hard didunium edm edm also uh, isolated from the rabbits for the study of various type of experimental pharmacology and a study of local anesthetics also done on the rabbits uh, and a study of meiotic and mediatic agents meiotic are the agent that produce a meiosis and mediatic mediatic agents are the that produce a mediatrices and the these agents are apply on the eyes of the rats and we study about the meiotic effect and mediatic effects you can see this this is the rabbits and the last is the uh, animal is the frog it is also known as rena tigrina in the scientific language uh, frog uh, is weighed about the 150 200 grams and were on the time exclusively used in experimental pharmacology pehle bahut zyada use hota tha but however recently the use of wild wild frog for experimental purposes has been when in the india uh, but uh, ex- uh, what is the experimental use of the rena tigrina isolated preparation heart rectal muscles uh, use preparation isolated from the frog and a study of a uh, study and a study of of various type of drug on this isolated preparations for the clinical pre clinical purpose and drug acting on central nervous systems also done on the rena tigrina and uh, also occur on the rentigina and drug acting on neuromuscular junction nmj neuromuscular junctions also occurs in the rena tigrina and give frogs and these are the reference of my these slides so ye aapka complete hua hai is tarike se different types ke animal jo hum formally lab mein use karte hain to so, rat hai elmina mouse hai guinea pig hai rabbit and frog hai to so, Uh, now this is the um, uh, this is the uh, study of experimental animal is completed if you have any confusion to please comment in my comment box uh, comment boxes and now i close this slides and thank you all of you